Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And one of the things that was asked uh, in the, today in a, a comment was how to manage disk space and how to see what exactly takes all the disk space in a PC. So the user that has the question says that he's got a terabyte drive and uh, three quarters of it is used and he was wondering what exactly is it that is using all of that. Well, the best thing to do in Windows 11, because he's in Windows 11, and of course Windows 10 also has this feature, is to go into the settings. And your settings, go to the system tab, and go to the storage tab. Here, you'll see that it's gonna start working and checking out what amount of space each folders and even temporary files or apps are taking. So you'll see uh, also other and it's gonna tell you what's taking all that space. So in my case, you could see that what is really taking a lot of space right now is the pictures folder with uh, a lot of more than 100 gigabytes. My documents folder is pretty big too. And uh, so of all, I'm using 346 out of our drive, which is 512. So it gives you an idea that I'm taking a lot of space right now that maybe I could clean. So here you'll see all the space taken, including temporary files here, which is interesting. And of course, you'll have cleanup recommendations. So what you could do is simply go to the cleanup recommendations. You'll wait until it finishes, because it will take maybe sometimes a little longer to check out what can be cleaned. And by going to the uh, recommendations here, you can decide if you want to clean or not temporary files, uh, which are, in my case, pretty big, 80 gigabytes, and other types of uh, folders and files. You can also, in the storage, go to a specific folder. So if, for example, you see here I have 112 gigabytes of pictures, what could be used is I could go here and then view pictures and see what are the pictures that are so big that I or videos possibly that are, need to be um, uh, fixed? So here we're going to go to cleanup recommendations. Here it says that my downloads folder is 45 gigabytes. It says previous Windows installations at 34.9. I can maybe remove this. Uh, recycle bin at 13. Here we go. I can remove this. So I can clean up 48 gigabytes here, which are easily, um, you know removable without any problems. Uh, previous Windows installations, previous uh, the recycle bin, previous Windows um, updates, setups that would show up, things like that. Download folder I didn't touch because there are some things in that download folder that I might want to keep, so I didn't touch that. And of course, you can check out any other types of uh, files or cleanup that you can go through. So when that is done, uh, in effect, I will have 48 gigabytes more space on my hard drive than I had before, which is pretty substantial. And uh, of course, depending on what you do and what you uh, use as folders, you can check that out and, and see what happens. So uh, this is a good way to do some cleanup. It's still cleaning up right now and uh, to have more disk space at some point. Uh, depending on your type of hard drive is, uh, you know, if it's a good old magnetic hard drive or an SSD disk can be slow, uh, a slow process, especially if you're dealing with gigabytes and gigabytes of files. It can take a long time for the storage to appear and it can also take a long time for the cleanup process if you're removing files. So depending on the, the drive you're using, this could take a long time, but it could be worth it if a lot of your hard drive is being used and you wonder what actually is, being, uh, is using all that space. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.